This will be some remake of the video with the name High Voltage Aluminium Air Battery. Seven years ago I make a video where I show you how to make some high voltage aluminium air battery. And by high voltage I mean that this cell which I will make here in this video will have a little bit higher cell voltage like some standard aluminium air battery. Because some standard aluminium air battery have that cell voltage from 1 to 1.5 volts. But the aluminium air battery cell which I will make here will have the cell voltage over 2 volts. And if you make some standard aluminium air battery, then of course you will need some aluminium for the negative electrode. The electrolyte is in most cases some potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide electrolyte. And of course the cathode or the air cathode uh, is made from some sort of carbon. Some activated carbon felt or activated carbon powder will do the job really really good and actually what is the difference between some standard aluminium air battery and this high voltage aluminium air battery so in the construction view the standard aluminium air battery uses only one electrolyte which is some sort of alkaline electrolyte and this high voltage aluminium air battery uses two electrolytes with different pH which means that some alkaline based electrolyte is used on the negative side of the cell and some acid based electrolyte is used on the positive side of the cell and these two electrolytes are separated by some membrane which don't allow that these two electrolytes will mix together and actually this dual electrolyte aluminium battery will produce the voltage over 2 volts and first I will start with making some standard aluminium air battery with only one electrolyte. So here I have my aluminium. The separator is some kitchen paper, nothing special about the separator. Then for the electrolyte I will use 6 mol of potassium hydroxide. Uh, I will also use some uh, activated carbon felt. And on the top I will put this graphite plate for the positive current collector. And right now I make really really simple made uh, classic aluminium air battery. So I will see what will be the voltage of this cell. And yeah, the cell voltage of this aluminum air battery is 1.56 volts. And of course the LED will not run because the voltage is too low. And now I will make this high voltage aluminium air battery. So like I said before, this aluminium air battery will use two electrolytes with different pH. Which means that on the negative side of the cell, I will use some alkaline based electrolyte, which in my case I will use 6 mol of potassium hydroxide. But in your case you can use some sodium hydroxide or some bleach will also work really really great. And on the positive side of the cell, I will use some acid-based electrolyte, which again, in my case, I will use 50% of sulfuric acid. But in your case, you can also use some vinegar. So the negative electrode will be made from aluminium. Then on this aluminium, I will put this kitchen paper. 
uh, this kitchen paper will only hold the electrolyte in place. So I will wet this kitchen paper with alkaline electrolytes, like so. Then right now I need to have some membrane which will not allow that uh, these two electrolytes will mix together. And for some short experimenting, and if you only want to know what what voltage you will get with different setup of materials then some baking paper will do the job so for some short testing the baking paper will work really, really great but if you want to make some professional dual electrolyte aluminum air battery uh, or if you want to experiment a little bit longer with the cell then of course you will need to use some napium membrane But for some short testing, the baking paper will do the job really, really great. But of course, the baking paper will not last really, really long. A couple of hours and you will need to replace the baking paper. And down the top, I will put this graphite plate. And let's check the voltage at this moment the cell voltage is 2.1 volt and now I can increase the voltage of this cell even further by adding some active material To the positive side and this active material will be manganese dioxide so i will add a little bit of manganese dioxide here on this positive side of the cell so and the cell voltage is 2.5 volts very nice and now for the finish I will show you this little trick which you can use when you experiment with this dual electrolyte setup and if you want to know what voltage you will get with different material combinations. So with this little trick, the experimentation will be much faster and also much, much more easier. So first, what you will need is some kitchen paper. This kitchen paper will hold the both electrolytes in place. So one side of this paper, I will wet with some alkaline electrolytes. like so and the another side of the paper I will wet with some acid based electrolyte but I will also make sure that the acid electrolyte will touch the alkaline electrolyte because here in the middle these two electrolytes will create some salt bridge And now I can make some experimentation. So here on the positive side, which is this side, I will add this graphite plate. And on the negative side, right now I can place some zinc, for example. And now I can see what voltage I will get. Right now I get the voltage of 2.1 volt.
Now on the positive side, I can add some active material like manganese dioxide. So I will also wet this manganese dioxide with the acid electrolyte. And now let's check the voltage. And from one point, I mean from 2.1 volt, I get to 2.4 volts. Really nice. Now I can also replace the zinc with some aluminium, for example. And now I get the voltage of 2.6 volts. Very nice. So with this setup, you can make this experimentation uh, with this dual electrolyte setup really, really easily. So guys, that's it for now. And we see us in the next video. Bye.